Hello YouTube, welcome to part 5, cutting the hole out for the door. We have an echo. Anyway. You'll see a picture I had the ruler here, so I know this is exactly 12, because it is about 12 and an 8. So we do not want to make this beggar have to fill in. And this is the diameter blade we use. We use an older one that was worn out. We do not want a whole lot of blade. We want just enough to cut through there. We still got that echo. Oh well, it ain't fun, I don't want to do it. But use a small blade as wore out. That is a 60 grit, which is really small. Thin, I should say. Thinner than a 40 grit. It will cut cleaner. And we'll bring you back when we start getting the door fitted. We're going to put the frame in and get all that well in first, then make the door. Because we're going to be adding that door gasket, and we don't want any heat on it on the glue. So the frame will be put in before the door is made. So stay tuned. Okay, we squared it up the best we could, which this will be the top. This will be the left side. We actually have more gap at the bottom. And then what we did is we ground on this side a little by little, putting some Sharpie marker lines. We had to kind of lift this up, pop this up a little bit to get this to go in. We don't want too big of a gap to have to weld. So we are fitted. We will double check to make sure it's straight, even with here to here. If it's off a little, you won't notice it if it's off like a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, I'll notice it. But there we go. It's fitted. There's a pretty big gap there, but that's underneath. So if it gets sloppy welding or brazing it, you won't see it that bad. So we shoved it this way and this way. These are the sides you'll see the most. Most people, you know, with the hinges and stuff over here, but you won't really ever see the bottom. But there we go. It's just going to be into one inch angle iron. Now you're starting to see why you got to have all this depth. Oh, probably only in about a quarter inch right here. It's sticking down. This probably only sticks in about a quarter inch, so it goes in like one and three quarters. And I did all this figuring just by practice doing it and and I did use a curved piece of metal, an older piece of barrel to kind of get the idea of how big this slot is going to be, this hole I should say. That's why these lines were approximate. Okay, enough on that. I think we all get the idea. On to getting this paint off and doing some spot welds to hold this in. Well, there you go, it's brazed on. It's a little globby in spots down here but just a wood stove because it did warp up here it looks real nice this side's a little better I wish the other side would have been better because the hinge pieces will kind of hide that but there you go just a real quick look it's raised in there now let's make the door and the hinges but all we got left to do, we have not decided what kind of legs we're going to put on. This may be mounted up on a big truck rim. It may have pipe legs. It may have angle iron. We have no idea on the legs yet. There you go. Thanks for watching part five.